Hey guys, Accountability Angel here, and we are outside of the Joliet Police Department. It's the uh, Western Office. I didn't even realize they had uh, substations. Apparently they do. It's a bit windy out here. We got an evidence unit. That's cool. Working with the community for a safe city. Joliet is the same town where I was whining about the terrible uh, hotel they had. So there's some sketchy people all over. Half of which I don't think we're even staying there. This uh, substation did not have very good reviews. I believe it was an average of 1.7. And just in case anything occurs, this is where we're at. Actually, according to Governor Pritzker, it's false. All false. I think they got a nice little waiting room, though. Spotted somebody looking at me. Only accepts cash payments. Uh oh. Yeah, don't get rejected. Don't get a DUI. Oh no. Everybody take a look at that. It's been quite some time and it's not been solved. Almost six years. Kendall County pads. Hi, um, I needed two Freedom of Information Act request forms and an uh, officer complaint form. Submit them, um, what? Them for you. What? Please submit them for you. Are you recording that, Sam? Yeah. Okay. Is there a reason you're recording that? Why wouldn't I? I'm documenting my business. So what do I do with it? We submit FOIA requests for you. We do it. We don't do it. There's not a form we give you anymore. We submit them. So I just verbally tell you? Yeah, we just give you your ID. Oh, well, isn't it state law that I don't have to present ID for a Freedom of Information Act? You get more information to show your ID. Oh, I didn't want to show my I wanted to remain anonymous. You don't, okay, I just can't guarantee something like you redacted. Okay, now it's general information, so it should be okay. I also needed um, one officer complaint form and just to, to know how I need to go about filling that you out. You don't have officer complaint forms? No, we have a complaint on officer with all supervisors. So I can't go home, fill it out, and drop it off? No. no we will just call an officer in for you. You what? We will call an officer in for you. Oh, so I can't just... So if I came here with a filled out piece of paper, you wouldn't accept it? I called an officer for you. Well, can you call a sergeant and ask him for a complaint form? They're not going to give you a complaint form now. Why? Do you guys have complaint forms? They're the ones who take the complaints. I'm having a hard time hearing you. They're the ones who take the complaints as a sergeant. And they don't have a form? They do a form they fill out. They don't have a form for uh, me to fill out? They talk to you. I don't, ma'am, I don't know. I'm not sergeant. Okay. I just call sergeant saying when somebody wants to make a complaint. Okay. Well, uh, can you call him and then let him know that I want the officer complaint form? I just want him to explain the process to me so I can 
go home, fill it out, and then bring it back when I feel comfortable. Okay, thank you. So I can um, do my FOIA with you then? Yeah. Okay. I want to, what I want is all officer or employee complaints from 1-1 of 17 until today. Until today? Yeah, and I want it sent to an email. That's the only way I want to identify. So Mandy said officer and then um, employer? Yeah, officer and employee complaint forms. So just anybody that works here. And I also would like the annual salaries of all the employees here. I don't know if I have to do it separate or... Yeah. Did you need my email? Yes, please. It's accountability angel. It's all one word. At yahoo.com. And what was your name, honey? Uh, my name's Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you for your help. Don't have FOIA forms. You have to fill them out and just tell them, or you have to just tell them and they fill it out, which is weird. And then, um, that is awfully strange. But and also, they uh, do not have officer complaint forms for citizens to fill out. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear because I had a hard time hearing her through the mask and through the freaking glass thing. But, um, but they uh, said that only the surgeon will fill out the complaint form, which to me sounds like they're just trying to hold them hostage so they can pick and choose which complaints get filed. So we're going to see. <clears throat> we are going to see. I don't trust any department that doesn't have a complaint form pretty readily available. I mean, there's been a few where the people were pretty, the officers they dealt with are pretty open to whatever, but... We'll see how these guys do. I don't think they like being filmed. see from here. Oh, isn't that that Malcolm in the Middle lady? Okay. Okay, 
read that sign for me when I try and zoom it. Oh, well. Please make sure the door closes and locks behind you. It's a good idea. There's a cute baby on that screen. It's like a little mirror. Or it's like a some weird kind of mirror. Yep, you got it. Normally I pause when it's taken forever like this, but um, this place kind of feels sketchy. So we'll see. We will see. See if they live up to their uh, 1.7 star reviews or not. Overall, this has actually been an excellent trip. I've done very well. Kind of. A few of them haven't, but even the one lady, she made up for it. You guys will see that. Actually, by the time I post this one, you'll already seen it. But we helped um, somebody that works at the office there at a different PD get educated. So, look. I got three, three crack pots. Oh, they got, is that a grabber? For those of you who know, when I was hurt, like, back in, like, late 2019 and early 2020, I'd use a grabber for the first, like, couple weeks because I could barely, you don't even know, it was so bad. So, so bad. Those things came in handy. I actually got a bunch of really nice ones that were normally, like, 20-something bucks. I just got... A few months ago, I just got a whole bunch of them for Penny Aya. So I was able to give them to people in my family and whatnot that needed them. Casper the cat missing. Everybody keep an eye out for him. I don't know why they put it inside, though. Um, yeah, those grabbers come in handy. You never really know until you're, until you're up against the wall and you need one. You can't bend down to get it. So they don't, they don't offer a complaint form, and the sergeant takes forever. Great. <sighs> Getting frustrated. So, you guys don't have anything I could just fill out and take with me and bring back so I don't have to wait for them? No, unfortunately. But um, I did do your FOIA request. Awesome. So, you're going to get actually a confirmation email right now. Um, so, it's not a confirmation called Doug QA. Okay. So, just look for that. It could be in your spam. It could show up in your regular inbox, um, either or. And then we actually have five business days, excluding weekends and holidays. So, it's taking it until the third of June. Okay. That sounds good. How long have you guys not um, had like paper complaint forms for people to f file? I've been here 22 years. We've never given out complaint forms just at the window. Why? We call sergeants in. We have protocols. If you have a complaint on an officer, we call a sergeant. That's great. What if the sergeant's one of the people you're complaining on? Then we go above it and call the Oh. Good to know. She says she's been here 22 years and they have not had. Um, <laughs> They've never had officer complaint forms. <laughs> Very weird. I'm going to give them two minutes. And if not, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to decide to take one of the pieces of paper, write my complaint out, and, uh, well, not write my actual complaint, but write that I had a complaint and I wasn't able to get any service and go that route and see if they'll accept it. Even worse, now they got my accountability angel email. 
I usually like to wait to give in the FOIAs and I don't identify until um until I get ready to leave. Bet you it'll speed him up if I just stand there with the camera. Entertain myself a bit. She looks so young to be here for 22 years. She must have good genes. That's that. see why. box of cat food. What is that? Might be those french fries. No coffee in the coffee pot. Somebody, what are you getting? A little something something? Yeah, there you go. What's she with it? Somebody knows to take care of the coffee. What else they got there? Oh, cream and sugar spiel, perfect. A sink, wash the Rona off. I think I see a couple salt shakers. Do you have an estimated time for how long it's going to take him? Because it's been like 15 minutes. He's on the streets, ma'am. So he's on his way to the station. I, can't, I don't know where he's coming from. And I can't just get a paper to fill out? No. I can't just write on the back of that paper, put my complaint on it, and no, give it to you? Complaint. Then why isn't a sergeant readily available? Because Part of their job is accepting the citizen complaints. I'm sorry, I have such a hard time hearing you. Okay. Well, I only have a few minutes. I thought I could come into a police department and just pick it up and fill it out and bring it back. Oh, is that state law or just a policy here? How often do you guys get citizen complaint forms? Is that because it's not easy to do? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. I can't answer that for you. I don't know how many complaints we get. I no clue. That's a that's a that's above us. We have no I gotcha. Clue. Didn't I record what the chief's name was? I don't think I did. All right, guys, I've been here for 19 minutes. Could you guys just tell him to uh, meet me outside? I'm going to go check out the squads and stuff and entertain myself. Okay. Holy shit, guys. Oh, there I was trying to get rid of this. Didn't get right. I hear a squad running. Wonder if that's him.
There's somebody too. Why can you not get a complaint for me? I don't understand. I'll get him to move a little faster, I bet you. Guys, what the fuck? I think this is a stuffed cat. Or like some sort of, some sort of something. around and find somebody that's going to help us with this complaint, guys. About 20 minutes. I feel like we've given them long enough. 9244. Look, here's all these guys. I hope they're not all here for me. They must really want to take the complaint. And that's a 0688 on it, too. I wonder what he's doing. He's in there. I can see him a little bit. I have a little bit of tint to the windows. And better not be even one little point above the legal limit, or they're going down. Some of their squads are pretty cute. Joliet has, I don't know, maybe 120, 150,000 people or so. So it's about the biggest town for from where I live to clear up here. Hey, look, I can sit there. Freedom. I swear to God, I keep hearing knocking. Smoke free zone. I got a couple of squads way over in that, looks like. Oh, no wonder he's here knocking. They must be doing construction over there. Oh, hello. Are you the guys that's supposed to help me? Are you the ones who are supposed to help me? What's that? Are either of you the sergeant that's supposed to help me? No, not a sergeant. Oh. What do you need? Well, I've been here for like 20 mi 23 minutes, actually. Uh, I talked to the ladies inside trying to get a complaint form, and she said you guys don't offer complaint forms? Civilians can't. A Why? Would have to do that. Why? Because civilians don't handle that. They can't just give the form for me to bring back? No. Then why does it take so long? I've never been to a PD we're that took the this long. The sergeant's working the street, so he's got to come from wherever he's at. You guys don't just have him readily available in the lobby? No, that ain't how police departments work. That's crazy. Do you guys get a lot of complaints? Or not? About people in the city. City? Yeah, sometimes. I mean about officer's conduct. I don't know. I don't handle any of that. Oh. Who does know? Supervisor. The Supervisor. sergeant. And how do I say your... Perry? Yep. Perry. How do I pronounce your last name? Montello. Montello. Do you guys know where the supervisor is? Because I've been here a long time just trying to get the form. Well, they don't tell us where they're at, but uh, I'm sure if she called for you, which I heard him do, he'll be here. Oh, it seems like a long time. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, if he's out on a call somewhere, everything is priority based. Yeah, well, do you see why it's important to have them at the office? Well, if you could come up with budget money that would pay for someone just to sit in the office all day, I'm sure they would love to hear that. What do you mean? You could works. you could literally leave them in the office just like every other pamphlet. they got to be able to work the street. Yeah, you could just leave the form in there and people come back and, and bring it in when they're ready. Them. But isn't that an intimidation attempt? I don't see how. Like if you did something real terrible to me, like just for example, 
and I wanted to come in and complain on you. I'm sitting here having to hang around with random cops that I don't know, don't know if I can trust yet or not, and they're your buddies, and then I'm stuck here for half an hour. But I think what you're trying you, to say is if, like, for example, what you mean is not being here at the police department, but if perhaps you were at a residence meeting and an officer show up, it'd be better that the supervisors are on the street roaming if they can respond quicker. Here at the police department, what you're saying is there should be someone inside. I don't think that would be the Well, not even somebody. And I, believe, they and I believe that you went to the front desk of the police department. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, therefore, you wouldn't even find an officer there. You wouldn't have dealt with an officer. But what I was looking for was the complaint form. No, no, I understand it. But what you wouldn't have dealt with all the rest of you didn't call for an officer. So you wouldn't have dealt with an officer. You actually went in and you're talking about a complaint form. They're explaining to you that they need to contact the supervisor, which they have done. Yeah. And a supervisor will respond to all I'm trying to explain to you is what you're saying. If there, if, hypothetically, if somebody did something wrong to you, you're talking about at a residence where officers and supervisors would be roaming the streets in their areas, and they would be able to respond quickly. But it could have been an officer say, right, he'll say, I, you did something to me, you know what I mean? Well, that would never and happen. then I have to stand here, wait with you for half an hour for a, a freaking form, because I've tried to tell them that I was not comfortable filling the form out nor talking to the supervisor yet. But I understand, but I'm saying that you came to the front desk Right. Yeah. Well, not everybody has access to a phone to call you. And not all phones actively call unless you paid your bill, right? I mean, and plenty of people can't pay their bill. All I'm saying is you came to the police department. Yeah. That's what I was supposed you're to do to, to get an officer complaint form, right? Yeah, but you're talking to the first front desk person. Hey, know. that's who you had there. I just wanted the form. Yeah, well, civilians don't handle that. It's not my part to explain it. But they don't hand them out? They told me that they didn't even have any for, no, for people. The supervisors deal directly. Here we, here we like our supervisors. Talk to yeah, and, but what about? We don't want you just to fill out a form and not have a chance to speak to personnel. Yeah, but that's kind of intimidating because if what I'm trying to turn in is very uh, delicate and personal, I don't want to talk to Joe Blow supervisor that might be an asshole. But at some point, you're going to talk to a supervisor. Well, yeah, but I shouldn't have to do it when I'm just picking up the form. But it's irrelevant because that's how we handle things. We want. It is relevant. It's very relevant, you Perry. Want Perry, you we want don't care what you guys want. We care what the citizens have a right to. That's why the citizens Coming here and you, you have a right to now. that. And you're Sir, you guys have 1.7 stars on Google. <laughs> I'm sorry? You have 1.7 stars on Google. What do you mean they like it? I think others must feel that way too. I didn't read them, but I saw it. Hey, I've I, eaten I at some pretty shitty five. restaurants before. Five, well, you might, but we're talking about the so fact that, you know, the thing is. Like but not all complaints, sir, are, oh, I don't like what you said. I'm going to tell you, supervisor. It's not all that. There's cops out there raping people. There's cops out there breaking legs that shouldn't have been broken, things like that. And you guys need an open and honest complaint process that makes people they feel comfortable. But um, it's, I've been here for over half an hour or so, and I have yet to have a supervisor. I just have two people telling me that I'm not allowed to get a form yet. I'm not saying you're not allowed. They don't have them to give them to you. But I also asked if I could fill out on a piece of paper myself saying, hey, you guys took too long. This is my complaint and leave. And then I also was told no. Well, they don't take complaints. They're civilian employees. They don't do that. But they could hand the complaint out, could they not? Are you going to trust that it's going to get there? I'm, no, no, no. What I'm, what I'm asking you isn't about even turning it in. They're not giving me one at all. They should, though. Is this a sergeant? I, I won't know until we I bet you he won't have a complaint for him on hand. I'll have to wait another 10 minutes. I guarantee it. Well, well if that's him, he'll be happy to let you know. Is that him? 591? Until he gets out of the car. Oh. If he's a supervisor, he'll be wearing a white uniform shirt. Oh, yeah? You guys don't think it's ridiculous at all that I've been here half an hour waiting just to get a complaint form or somebody to listen to my complaint? Well, I mean, I could have literally had something. Right well, I get that, but that's why the form should be here. Have you ever thought about going to our central station? You know what? No. Oh, okay. We have two stations. Right now. Oh, I know. I know. I didn't need to go there. I wanted to come here and see how you guys did for my complaint. I thought you guys would be better. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Not bad. Can I have your name? Sergeant Sepulveda. Did they tell you, Sergeant Sepulveda, what I needed? Because I've been here for about half an hour and... Okay. Something about you wanted to file a complaint? Yeah, I want a complaint form. Okay. You just wanted to take one with you? Yeah, nobody... I've been here for a long time. I got a life, too. 
apologize. I don't know. That was coming from a little well, bit of ways off. But I don't understand why they can't hand them out. Why do we need to keep track of every complaint for them? They can't even hand them out. I can get why they don't accept them. Sure. But handing them out so I can fill it out at my own leisure and not feel intimidated. I mean, to save you a trip next time, the easiest way is to get them online. I, you can submit it on your But own. yeah, but sir, how many people are below the poverty level and do not have online? That's not an just, option for all of us. Just, just giving you options. Just you know, like this just, phone, we have no idea whether it's hooked up to a phone line or not because I don't know if I paid my bill and neither do you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, so you just want a blank form to take with you and fill out at your leisure? That's absolutely what I want and I want you to just kind of explain anything I need to know before I turn it in, if you guys have a certain process I need to follow, if you guys accept, um, if I want to remain anonymous sure. and just, you know, give you an email if maybe you do need, later need it or something well, like that. First step, I'll, uh, the one thing I will tell you, if you do ever do get access to the internet, you can save yourself a trip, save yourself coming down to the station. Uh, there is an anonymous way to file it online. Oh, great. Uh, there's a box that you click right there on the uh, Joliet.gov website. You go to the police department side, administration. There's an internal affairs link right there. Cool. And then when you go on that form, it'll say file a complaint. It's an actual list or a link that says file a complaint. Right at the very top of that, it asks you, do you want to remain, remain anonymous? Oh, cool. Okay. So as soon as you click that box, then it, then it changes kind of the format and it'll probably take some information out. So then you don't put obviously personal information, contact information, all that good stuff. Awesome. Okay. That's so good to do, know. If you do have internet access, that's the easiest way. But if you want me to get you a blank one for you to hand fill out, I can run inside and grab one for you. Yeah, I always think it's better to come in person because then you're forcing people to actually remember you are a real human sure. that suffered something real. You know what I mean? Sure. But I just think it's obnoxious that I had to wait all this time just to see you and then still not get my complaint form. I don't understand why they're not available in the lobby when clearly you have work to do in our cross town sometimes. And shouldn't even if I don't need you, I should be able to just go and grab it and bring it back when I'm ready for you. You know what I mean? That's a great suggestion. Yes. What's your guys' chief's name? Is chief, he Chief Malik? Malik. Correct. Cool. Yeah, I just need just one form is all. Sure. I'll run and grab it since you're obviously busy. Okay. I'll be awesome. Right Thank you so much. Are you pointing at your body cam? These are body cam. What is it? Microphone. That's a mic? Yep. That's not a body cam with it? No, ma'am. Why not? No, that's what I thought the center was. No. Oh. Do you have your mic on? Uh, not at the moment. What? Not at the moment. Oh. Did you during my conversation? No, ma'am. Oh, great. Because you know why I ask, right? Because that may or may not be intimidation because... Somebody could recognize my voice, say say your buddy that's not him, that's on, on right now, try to beat me up, try to do whatever. Then that'd be intimidation, what do you think? If it's if it's light is on, so you hear it? Yeah, so so maybe he can just pick it up when I made it clear that I wanted to anonymously make one. You know what I mean? Who could have picked it up? Whoever I, I, wants to listen later. I mean, doesn't that stand record? What you guys record just like it would for like a regular body cam? Yeah. Would they allow? Yeah, actually, I love that you guys actually have the it mics. I was just curious. But I mean, that's so that, so that way it's, everything is recorded. Unavailable. Yeah, I think that's great that uh, you guys have that. Do you guys not have body cams or you just have that? No, these are just uh, microphones. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad you at least got something. Because yes. you know what? There's a lot of liars with the uniform on and they put you guys in danger. And the rest of us, obviously. Have you ever heard of somebody getting kidnapped by the police and arrested for a crime they did not commit while trying to file a complaint? I have not. No. Yeah, it's crazy, but it happens. I have not. It happens not far from have, here. Have, oh, yes. Can you cite an example? <laughs> Look up Accountability Angel on YouTube. You'll see an no, example. I'm for you to give me, give me an example. Look it up. You'll see. You'll see. I was personally kidnapped back in March trying to do this very thing for not committing a crime. Even worse, they actually made false charges up against my brother who was there claiming that he interfered uh, when I was getting arrested. But he stood back. He was they, the city of Joliet? No. No, it was in LaSalle County. LaSalle County goon squad, the tyrants. Those are the type of cops that put you guys in danger, and I hope neither of you guys are. 
Hope you guys truly honor your oaths and respect our rights. Awesome. All right. This is a complaint form. There is front and back, so there's plenty of room on the back side for you to get as detailed as you'd like. Perfect. Obviously, some of these boxes mm -hmm. aren't going to apply because if you want to remain anonymous, these, yeah. these are normal. The reason why I'm the one that has access to these because it's usually a supervisor that's taking a complaint. Yeah. So some of these boxes, being that you're going to take it and fill it on your own leisure, you might not know the information or mm -hmm. you might not want to provide that information. So whatever you feel is necessary that you want to provide. There you go. Perfect. And do All you guys right. have, um, do your officers have to identify when they engage with a citizen? Say yes. If, that's what I thought. I figured. And if they choose not to, should I just uh, describe them? Uh, yeah, the best, the best way to do it would be date, time, type of incident, location, all that type of good stuff, and, and we'll Track be able to figure back. out who you actually dealt with. Perfect. And do I, can I just uh, sign it in front of you guys here, or do I have to go to the bank and get like a notary? Nope, doesn't need to be notarized. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your help. All right, no problem. Have I appreciate it. You guys take care. Take care. Oh. All right, it took, it took, let's see, roughly 35 minutes or so, but we, but we got, um, we got our complaint form. Yes. Took a lot of, talk, a lot of finagling with them, but uh, actually the sergeant, I can't think how to pronounce his last name, but I, I got it. I'd say he did pretty well, first, uh, but um, I just don't understand why it was such a freaking process to get this form. So hopefully we can contact our chief and and get something something better. Actually, uh, none of the guys were too bad towards me, including uh, Perry and Matello. But um, but yeah, it was just kind of weird that it took the greater half of 40 minutes to get the form itself. It's just strange. But hopefully we can uh, talk to them and get that taken care of. Because besides that, they actually did uh, kind of okay. So one A pass. The other ones are all question marks at this point. But um, but yeah, that's all we got here. We're going to go and find another station. See what's going on before I go shopping. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!